Hello guys, Sujari speaking. Welcome to LJP Speed episode number 1000. Um, I would say 203. And today we're getting to Mr. K celebrates Black History Month episode 14, Althea Gibson. We had this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Wow, it's about tennis. Okay, makes sense. Oh. Oh, hi, friend. How are you? Doing good. It's you? Beautiful day today, and Baxter and I are getting ready to play some tennis. Do you like tennis? Tennis is a fun sport where you can use. It. Even though it's uh, even though I'm not interested in parts of tennis, even though I'm not playing it. I love bowling, but that's just me. Continue on. Cool, like this. Call the tennis oh. racket to hit a fuzzy yellow colored ball back and forth over a net. Okay. And since we're celebrating black history, I think I'll tell you about an amazing and talented tennis player who really accomplished a lot. Wow. Her name was Althea Gibson. Okay. Althea Gibson was born on August 25th, 1927 in South Carolina. Almost 100 years ago, okay. Good deal on. When she was three, her family moved to Harlem in New York. She was the oldest of five children. The mm. apartment that she and her family lived in was right on the street that was reserved for a police athletic league play area, which meant during the daytime, the street would be blocked mm. off so that all the neighborhood kids could play sports. Mm. This is where Althea became so good at paddle tennis that by the age of 12, she was the New York City Women's Paddle Tennis Champion. Mm -hmm. Althea actually quit school when she was just 13 years old, and using what she learned from her dad, she would engage in street fighting, basketball, and watching movies. Wow. She also began taking tennis lessons, and she actually didn't like the sport to begin with. She believed that playing tennis was for the weak. Mm -hmm. But in 1941, at the age of 14, she entered into her first tennis tournament the American Tennis Association New York State Championship. Mm -hmm. And she won. Wow. She then won the national championship back-to-back -back in 1944 and 1945. And then, in 1947, she won the first of 10 back-to-back -back ATA women's titles. Wow. And here are some of the other wins she had during her career. In 1949, she became the first black woman and second ever black athlete to play in the USTA's National Indoor Championship. Wow. In 1950, she became the first black player to be invited to play in the U.S. Open. In wow. 1951, she won her first international title in the Caribbean Championship in Jamaica and became one of the first black players to play at Wimbledon, even though she lost. Wow. She won 16 out of 18 matches during her time in Europe. In 1956, she became the first black athlete to win a Grand Slam tournament, where she also won the doubles title while playing with Angela Buxton. In 1957, Althea was called this season, Althea Gibson's year. In July of 1957, Althea played at Wimbledon again, this time winning and becoming the first black champion in the tournament's 80-year history, and she was the first champion to ever receive the trophy personally from Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, recipes to her, by the way. Two on. She would then go on to win her first U.S. Open and multiple other titles, which by the end of 1957, she won her last 55 matches and her first two matches in 1958, giving wow. her 57 wins wow. in a row. She was voted Female Athlete of the Year in both 1957 and 1958 and was the first black woman to be featured on the covers of Sports Illustrated and Time Magazine. Wow. Even after all of this, and after winning 56 national and international titles in 1958, she retired from amateur tennis because back at those times, the winners didn't receive money for winning championships, and Althea was having trouble making a living. During her retirement, she tried out professional singing. She starred in a movie, appeared on television shows, and released a music album. Oh, wow. She was in the yeah, Hollywood Squares? Okay, first of all, Billy, if you watch this for you, buddy, and Remix, um, and other game show fans out there, it's for you. Anyway, continue on. Secondly, that would be great. Okay. Good. And, um, Dad, if you watch this, John Wayne for you, buddy. Continue on. 
even after all of these accomplishments, Althea still had trouble playing tennis professionally because she was black. But mm. in 1964, at the age of 37, she became the first black woman to join the LPGA Ladies Professional Golf Association. But even though she would be one of the top 50 money winners during this time, Althea never earned more than $25,000 while playing tennis in her entire lifetime. Wow. Althea broke many barriers in her time, which opened the door for many other athletes after her. It would take 15 years before another person of color would win a Grand Slam tournament, and it would take 43 years before another black woman, the amazing Serena Williams, would win her first of six U.S. Open tournaments. Ooh. Serena's sister, the great Venus Williams, would then win back-to-back -back titles at Wimbledon and the U.S. Open in 2000 and 2001, repeating an accomplishment that Althea set in 1957 and 1958. Althea has won many awards and been inducted to many Hall of Fames, including being one of the first six inductees into the Nas International Women's Sports Hall of Fame, the Black Athletes Hall of Fame, the New Jersey Hall of Fame, and more. Althea paved the way for many Black athletes, especially women in tennis like Venus and Serena, and others around the world who were inspired by her. And to think, at first, she didn't even like to play tennis. But that could be you too. Don't be afraid to try something new. You might like it. And even you can make a difference in this world. It's the cage. Come on, let's go. Oh, it sounds like I better not keep Baxter waiting. I better go. See you next time. So that was, um, this case celebrates Athea Gibson. And boy... She has a legacy going on here, and boy, she she he didn't find his whole thing here. It was maybe successful overall, but I guess it was fun. I guess, but that's just me. And that was LGBT episode number um one thousand um thousand um two hundred three. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one's gonna be. Oh, which will be as episode number two, 1204, which will be about this case celebrates Frederick Douglass with two S's, something like that. Episode 15. Till next time, so Jones and Bobby, so baby, good world, which will be as episode, to pursue, it out. See ya. time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried. I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun. Perception is the question and the giver holds the key.